So this video is going to look at rearranging formulas to solve for the variable in red. This equation reads 4 equals n minus 2, so I know the variable n is what I'm solving for. My first step is to move all the number terms to the left-hand side of the equation and have n alone on the right-hand side. In order to do this, I need to move negative 2 to the left-hand side by performing the opposite operation, so I'm going to add 2. Once I do that, I can simplify the left-hand side and say it's 4 plus 2. That is going to equal n. I can further simplify that and say that 6 equals n. And once we found our variable, I want you to put a box around it. In the second example, we're looking at s equals d over t where those variables represent speed equals distance over time. And of course we're looking for distance as it's in red. The only step we have in this equation is to move time to the left hand side of the equation. Right now time is on the bottom, we're dividing distance by time. To move it to the other side we do the opposite operation which is multiply by time to both sides. Once we do that our times on the right hand side will cancel and we can rewrite our equation as time times speed equals our distance. Therefore we have our correct formula we're going to put a box around it so it's easy to see. For the next example I'm going to show you two ways to solve it. The equation reads a equals x times r and we're solving for the variable r in this case. The first step is to move x from the right hand side to the left hand side. Right now it's multiplying by r. We can show that when they write the variables beside each other that is another way to say multiplication or we can show the dot there which means that as well. To perform the opposite operation to move x to the other side we need to divide by x on both sides. Once we do that the x's will cancel on the right hand side and we can rewrite our equation as a divided by x equals r which is the variable we're looking for. Again, put a box around the answer so it's easy to read. The other way we can solve this question is it's still the same equation, still solving for r, but what I'd like you to do is draw a line on both sides of the equation. Okay, now what we're going to look at is still solving for r, but what happens is that when we move a variable to the other side of the equation, it has to go either above or below that line, depending on what it's doing on the other side. Right now, x is above that line, so that means when we move it to the other side, it has to go below. So therefore, we can rewrite that equation, and our final answer would be a divided by x, equals r once again, and of course, can't forget the box.